Okay guys, so welcome to part two of our um, 3D car modeling tutorial. Now what we're going to do today is we are going to bring in all four of the orthographic images that we prepared last time and we're going to drop those into our four different viewports within Autodesk Maya here now. First thing we need to do is open up our channel box in the top right hand corner. This is going to allow us here to move um, some of our images around should we need to adjust their position slightly. Um, on the left hand side here on this toolbar what we're going to do is we're going to select the four view panel layout and this is going to bring us our top, front, side and it's going to leave us with our perspective view here in the middle. So first things first what we're going to do is bring in our top view image here. So if we click on our top we have the option of view in the corner here down to image plane and then we can import our image. Um, this is going to bring in our image and we can go to our location here and it's going to drop it into that top view there but it's also going to see it inside a perspective view here and we can see that that's sitting perfectly nice high resolution there we don't need to make any changes to the position of that inside our channel box because we rotated that before in our Photoshop document what we can do now is inside the size section we can go view image plane and import image and this time what we'll do is import the side image into our section here and then files and side now we do need to adjust this position slightly so you can see that in our perspective section it's dropped in nicely the edge is aligned perfectly with our image for the top but what we want is we want our wheels here to sit on the actual grid itself that will allow us in our top view to see all of the mesh in this under section as well okay so inside the image center y what we can do is boost this up let's give three a go okay it's close Go 3.5. Okay. Let's go 3.6. Perfect. Good. Okay, so now we can see that our wheel now is sat directly on top of the grid rather than underneath it. So none of the mesh here will be obscured by any of the orthographic views. What we can do now in our front view is the exact exact same. We'll go image plane, import image, and this time we're going to bring in the front image. There we go. And in terms of the layout, this image again will be perfect. We can see it comes right up to the edge and um, to match the width of our section. All we need to do is adjust the image center. Now we did all that work in Photoshop before. We know that 3.6 is going to bring that into the exact position that we need it to be, which is good. We can see it's aligned nicely at the top. So by default, Maya is going to give us these three views, but we need another rear view as well um, in order to attach our fourth image to. So we can select any one of these views. I'm going to go through the front here. And we can go to Panels, Orthographic, and New. And in this case here, we want to create a new back. So we can see here now we have a back 1Z. And what we can do is we can, right off the back, go to View, Image Plane, Import Image. And we're going to bring in the image from before. I'm going to this time bring in the rear image there. So we can see now that on our back we have our rear image but it hasn't actually appeared inside our perspective view that's because it's probably yeah, all the way back there okay so sometimes it's a little bit different sometimes it places it roughly in space sometimes halfway in between but sometimes it's all the way out there this time so let's go for an image center of z-axis let's try a thousand see how that looks Okay, so a thousand is pretty good, so maybe we could take that down to 994. Perfect, so we can see here that it's just in front of our actual front section in terms of looking towards the back. So that's going to give us all the details we need. Perfect, so what we can do here is then add to the Y that 3.6, just like we did before, which is going to align this image here nicely, exactly where we want it to be. Good stuff. So, that's all our perspective images lined up. If we then close the channel box editor, hit space and jump into our perspective view here, you can see that all of our image plans lined up nicely, which means we can start modeling in the next episode.